This is Ray White at the Mushin Academy, Battle Creek, Michigan. Uh, coming at you with another clip on the footwork. Uh, for this part of the uh, tutorial, I want to show you guys how to V-step uh, or angle step. And uh, for some of you, this might be uh, new information. Uh, for some of you, it might be old information. Uh, but I just want to put it out there for those of you that have asked me for uh, tips on how to work the reflex bag uh, the way that I do and, uh, and how I enjoy using it. Uh, we've already gone over the uh, forward uh, in and out stepping with the uh, step and slide, the pendulum step, and the lunge step and the push step. Uh, we've gone over quarter turns and uh, inside quarter turn, outside quarter turn. Uh, you can see those uh, parts of the videos uh, on our channel. But uh, right now I want to show you guys uh, how to do the V-step and uh, how I use that uh, in application. Again, I just want to get myself uh, in range with the bag or just outside of range so that I can step in and strike and move back out. Um, but one way I deal with forward pressure from my opponent or if I need to uh, work around their cover or I'm just trying to be more tactical, uh, I will do something that's a little less, uh, a little less traditional Muay Thai you know, a lot of Muay Thai, uh, straight up Thai is stand and uh, stand and trade, uh, strand and bang. But if you look at some of the uh, uh, other kickboxing oriented styles, or uh, even just some of the other uh, fighters out there like um, uh, Senchai, if you look at uh, if you look at how Senchai fights, he he mixes up his footwork uh, to great effect. Uh, but that is not maybe what you would call a uh, traditional tie, uh, but he is using techniques uh, to great effect, and, uh, and I find them uh, useful, and I, and I enjoy the movement of it. So uh, a lot of this footwork comes from other arts, though, um, and uh, it's not to say that somebody uh, in Thai doesn't have that or doesn't teach that. Um, I just happen, it just happened to come to me from other arts, particularly uh, the Filipino martial arts, um, and the JKD, the Jeet Kune Do, uh, which is very eclectic to begin with. Uh, but the V-stepping uh, is very, uh, very Kali oriented, and uh, the way I use it is just to get off the line to relieve pressure or to set up my body mechanics for my follow-ups. And what I mean by V-stepping, is what I mean by V-stepping is literally stepping out at a 45 degree angle. So if I'm in my stance here, I'm either going to vector off at an angle here, or I'm going to switch my lead and vector off at an angle 45 degrees the other way. Uh, a lot of times when I'm stepping my turn, I'm moving at that 45 degree and turning. Um, but this is more of me attacking the, the same line uh, and setting it up and then following up with uh, a technique. Uh, they, also, they also have the opposite, which is the male, the male side of this, the V they consider the female triangle. And this is the male triangle where I may step at a point forward uh, to switch my lead. So, you know, the movements are angling uh, inward or across. So, uh, typically, this would be me stepping here and turning, or me stepping here and turning. Okay, for my V-stepping with the female triangle, I'm typically coming off the line at a 45 degree angle, or I'm stepping off at a 45 degree angle off here. I try to resist the urge to open my cover. If I'm here, I don't want to open up my cover. Uh, not that you can't throw uh, big overhands, um, but I prefer to throw uh, with, with a shoulder tight. So even if I throw an overhand, I try to drop it here. Uh, the overhand is nice for the MMA. Uh, a lot of times, this 
like that shot is a great shot. Um, it can set you up for all sorts of other technique. Uh, but this could also just be a straight right. Okay. And that can set up your turns. As you saw before, if you watched the footwork video for the pivots, that 45 degree step. Now, if I do it as a switch, I have the same shot where I step off the line this way, covered and covered, okay? I try to maintain as tight a cover as possible. So from here, here, boom, okay? Again, uh, I've got it set up so it's got some movement because I want you guys to, to see how sometimes I, I can switch that off. And so that 45 degree step can be going backwards at an angle or forwards at an angle. Okay? So from here, I might step forward, I might step forward, I might step back, I might step back. Especially if someone's giving me pressure, I may find a way, I may be looking for a way to set my footwork uh, so that I can fire. We, uh, we have different combinations on the pads, uh, on glove drills, where we'll actually switch back, throw a hook, so maybe I'm working on my step aside here, step aside in, step aside in. Here's the timing, it's just hard to find that. So this might be where you shadow box it more. So I just sit back, sit back. So I'm here and go back, bow the hip, hook, kick. Switch it here. So I go from one point on the triangle to the next. So if I was out here, and I know I wouldn't be up on the bag like this, but here I fall back to this position, I can fall back to that. And as you move your feet, you'll find that it sets your hip. So it's just thinking about how can I step? And how do I step angular versus just retreating? It is retreating, it's just not straight back. Okay, so, again, if I'm in my stance, I may have a 45 degree step forward, 45 degree step forward, and I, you can literally just drop your cross here, or drop your cross here. Okay, you can jab cross, jab cross. Go to the bank, cross, 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 hook, cross, hook. I probably should set this up uh, with the top movement so it's a little faster. Uh, but I wanted to show the retreat because sometimes that just sets up that, that retreating step really nice. So if I'm here, work my way in. What that is. Okay. Work your way back, going back at an angle, back this way, back that way, back this way, back that way, like that. And if you have it set up so that it's upright, you won't get, if it's just moving at the top, this shot really won't be there. And again, that's for the guy Again, who's charging or coming forward, and you're gonna hit them as they come forward. Okay. So I gotta wait, hit them when they come forward. Not traditional Muay Thai, uh, but good striking. And if you look at guys, uh, uh, some of the more agile fighters, especially in the lighter weight, lighter weights, uh, they're using their angles, they're using their footwork a lot more. And there's even some, uh, even some heavyweights uh, that with, with great footwork. So uh, if this is not your style, uh, you don't have to use it. But the more tools you have, uh, if you develop where you're weak, it might lift up some of your other strengths. Um, if it feels awkward, just go ahead and start slow 
Work on your B step, going forward. You'll find that you're going to V step anyway when you're turning. I'm going to step 45, and turn. But I have my V step here, my V step here. Here, 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 here. I can step back. So I step back this way, or I can step back this way. Come back in that one. That's pendulum stepping back to the female triangle. Here, here, pendulum step that way. Instead of just backing up and just going forward. A lot of times if you just back up, they just run you over. The guy with forward pressure can have the advantage. But if you are used to setting your, uh, your body mechanics up so that you can throw and you're aware where you can hit based on how your body's positioned, sometimes backing up is, uh, is your strength if you're used to using it that way. And so we practice that. We practice V-stepping forward, V-stepping back, and how does that affect my punching? V-step back, V-step back, V-step back, okay? You step back, stepping forward, hey, hey. stepping forward, hey, hey. and then how can I do that with my bag? And again, I, this is slower when it's on the on the big bottom pivot, but this gives me that retreating shock that I can hit on the on the back side. If you want it faster, just have the movement at the top and work on it that way. And again, you can see how your footwork, your head work, head movement. Uh, can help keep you unpredictable. If you're giving them the literal uh, lateral movement in and out, side to side, and then you start working your angles and your switches. Okay, V step switch, V step switch. Okay, so straight stepping, pivot stepping, circular stepping and V-stepping, okay? Uh, these are all just fundamental footworks uh, from Muay Thai, uh, JKD and Kali. Uh, they work really well for stand-up and they work really well for the MMA crowd. Um, uh, it's great for this particular bag. Uh, if you find yourself staring in front of bags and just hammering on the bag, that's great. You can develop your power. Uh, but you want to be a mobile po uh, weapons platform, not just a stationary one, okay? Uh, otherwise, it's whoever lands first, okay? So, I hope you guys like that. Feel free to uh, give me uh, questions or uh, comments. And uh, if you guys want to see certain things, uh, feel free to ask. We can put those up for you. Um, again, the reason why we came out with some of these footwork drills is because people were asking, Ray, how do you, how'd you get good with the bag? I love what you're doing. Uh, so hopefully this will help some of you guys. And again, if you want to download the video, uh, follow the link to our website. I'll have a download for you. You can download it for free. Um, also, uh, we'll probably have some uh, some more in-depth uh, materials for you guys uh, available as we go forward. But, but I thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, your uh, viewership is very important. It helps support what we do. Uh, so please give us a like and uh, please subscribe and uh, even give us a share. Thank you very much. Have a good one.